All right, so now that we've set up our server, I want to take a look at how do we go about creating our database and starting our initial site inside of Dreamweaver. And we're going to be working both with Dreamweaver and WordPress. So first thing I want to do is I want to open up my MAMP server. Again, the WAMP server is going to work in a very similar way. So if you're working on a PC, I'll fill in uh, whatever, where some of the changes are as best as I can. So I'm going to come to open. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to take a folder that I've already built a website with all of its different components, and I'm going to put it um, where I want it to be in order to get this um, this initial site set up. So I'm going to come on in, and what I usually do on my computer is I store, so store all of my sites inside of my site folder, and I'm going to take this, fight, this folder right here, the, my pseedlings folder. I'm going to control click. I'm going to copy this. Now I need to make sure that when I name my database that I name it the exact same name, exact same spelling as my folder here. So I'm going to come back and I need to find where that MAMP folder is. Now you can come in, it is in your applications, so I can come into application, mine is an application alias here, and I can come down and find my MAMP server. If you are working on a PC, it will be in your C drive. So I come on in and I want this all to go into my HT docs, all of the different components that I'll be working with from a WordPress Dreamweaver will be in here. Um, and again, what is happening here is I'm making it all run. All of this will run on my local server. So I'll come on in, I'll paste in my folder. There it is. Now I'm going to open up my MAMP server. So I'm going to open up my start page and I'm going to set up this database and my initial site. So I'm going to come to, and I can see my port is 3306. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to come to PHP, my admin, and I am going to create a database. Databases, and I am going to type in exactly as it is, piece seedlings, and I am going to hit create. And my database piece seedlings has been created. And there we have it my initial site is set up. Now we can take a look and see if we see this folder. I'm going to show you how you'll see it running. Um, I do a new tab here on your local local drive. So if I go HTTP, actually let me come right back over here. There we go. HTTP localhost Okay, so there we have it. It's that easy. Um, and when I look at this right now, it is, this is what I have built. This is my little template that I'm gonna start to incorporate WordPress with. Um, and I am now viewing it through my local server. My website is running under our local server and everything is prepped and ready for us to add our WordPress files. Take a look at the next video for adding the WordPress files.